Megan. Today we'll be doing a matte Pilates class using the Pilates ring. If you don't have a Pilates ring, a Pilates ball will work just fine. Um, also, at the end of my classes, I like to do a arm shoulder burnout. So if you'd like to join, grab a pair of light weights. Mine are about two and a half pounds and we'll do that at the end of the class. So let's go ahead and get started. So grabbing your ring or your ball, we're gonna start standing and we're gonna place that ring right between our ankles. So make sure it's in there pretty secure. Standing nice and tall, engaging our core. And then let's go ahead and have your hands on your hips or behind your head for a little bit more challenge. From here, we're gonna go ahead and shift our weight into our right leg and we're just gonna pulse our left leg in and out. Just like so. Woo. Make sure you keep your balance. Find that spot on the wall or the floor. And we're just gonna pulse in and out, keeping a light bend in that right knee so we're not hyperextending it. And we're just pulsing in and out, firing up those inner thighs. Good. Let's go for five, four, I'm gonna put my hands on my waist, three, two, and one. Good, staying there, you're going to shift your left leg holding that ring between your ankle right in front of you. A lot of coordination, and we're just gonna pulse that leg in and out as well. Same motion, just moving that leg in front of our right foot and still concentrating on that spot on the floor or the wall. Good. Stay nice and strong. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, from here, same thing. Holding that ring between your ankles and slowly shifting it back behind your right foot now and pulsing it in and out. So a lot of balance, a lot of core stabilization, just trying to stay really focused, engaging those muscles, Warming up the body. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Good. Just gonna reposition my ring and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other leg. From here, I'm gonna shift my weight into my left leg now. Slight bend in my left knee and I'm just gonna pulse that ring in and out. Staying focused, engaging my core, staying strong, breathing in through my nose and out through my pursed lip. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing, squeezing that ring between your ankles as you slowly shift that right foot in front of your left now. And we're just gonna pulse it in and out. Good. Same thing. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing. Squeezing that ring and slowly moving it around our back ankle, left ankle, sorry, and then pulsing it in towards our left foot. So by doing this, we're targeting all the muscles around our thigh, our glutes, inner thigh. So it's a really good exercise. Also, really staying balanced and controlled in the core. For four, three, two, and one. Back to center and both feet down. Good. From here, let's go ahead and grab our ring and let's find our mat. So I'm gonna pull my mat out <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay down onto our mats, onto our backs. And if you have a ring, go ahead and grab your ring. And you notice that there's two sides with the soft pads. One side with that pad, you're gonna place it behind your head. So we're gonna use it to kind of support our head for this series. So grabbing that ring behind your head, 
pushing up into it. So supporting your head, neck, and shoulders, lifting it up off of the mat, bringing our legs to tabletop. Let's find our Pilates V. So heels together, toes apart, knees are slightly turned out. Controlling it in the core, we're gonna do some footwork as if we were on the reformer. We're gonna push out and in, just like this, slow and steady. Remember, don't feel this in your lower back. Tilt the pelvis so the core is doing the work. If you feel it mostly in the lower back, don't lower your legs as low. Good. Try to keep the pelvis as still as possible for three, two, and one. Stay out there, rotate the feet to parallel, flexing the feet, and we're just gonna go right into bend and stretch. Bending the tabletop and extending all the way out. Still maintaining that core engagement, keeping this out of our lower back, keeping our feet flat as if they're up against a wall the entire time. For four, three, breathing in through our nose, up that first lip, two, last one, keep your legs all the way out, and now we're just gonna lower and lift our legs straight up and down, using our core for five, four, three, two, and one, bringing our legs to tabletop, and go ahead and grab your, uh, ink, your knee, sorry, and just take a quick little stretch here. Grabbing our, grabbing, sorry, our ring with our hands, we're gonna extend our legs, I'm gonna push my water bottle out of the way. Extend our legs all the way out, arms come up overhead, and we're gonna do some roll-ups. So we always guide with our arms. So our arms come up, hands right above our shoulders. We're gonna tuck our chin and we're gonna use our core to roll all the way up, all the way towards our toes, feeling that stretch, stretch in the back of the legs and our lower back. And then we're gonna slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll all the way down using our core. And then all the way down, arms come back up overhead. Good, so we're just gonna do a few of these. Take your time, find the engagement with the core, get that nice stretch as you reach towards your toes. And then, see curving, really hollowing out our stomach, one vertebrae at a time as we lay it down, back onto our mat, and hands come up overhead. Good job, let's do it one more time. Arms come all the way up, tuck the chin, and neck and shoulders rolling, using the core and reaching up towards our toes and then slowly coming on up and let's stay here. We're gonna sit right up against, right up on our sit bones. <clears throat> so sitting right up on our sit bones, we're gonna do a roll down variation. So holding that ring in between our hands like you have a paper towel roll, Put some tension on it. Always keep a little tension so we're engaging our pec muscles, shoulders, <clears throat> working a lot of muscles. <clears throat> so from here, sitting nice and tall, let's roll down and find our C curve. Just so you can maintain it. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Maintain that C curve and let's just put a little pulses in that ring. Control it in the core and pulsing that ring in and out. For five, four, three, two, and one, rolling up and come into flexion. Good. Sitting nice and tall on our sit bones again. Ring comes straight out in front of us, shoulder height, and we're gonna come down again. So let's find that C curve. Squeeze that ring, and from here, let's lift that ring up overhead and down. So only go as high as you're comfortable with stabilizing in your core. If you go too high and you feel like you're gonna fall back, don't go as high. But really challenge the core here. That is really working hard to keep us steady and still. 
our hips are not moving. Let's go for four, three, two, squeezing those glutes, and one, rolling all the way up towards our toes. Good. Sitting up tall again, ring right in front of us. Let's go ahead and find that C curve. From here, we're gonna pulse that ring five times to the center. Five, four, three, two, one. Rotate towards your left. Pulse it five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, pulsing five, four, three, two, one. And to the right side, pulse it five, four, three, two, one. Back to center and rolling up. Good job. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. So sitting tall, legs straight. Let's go ahead, tension on that ring. Roll down into that C curve, staying there. Now you're just gonna go to your left, tap the ring onto the floor, and go to the right, tap that ring. <clears throat> so you're just rotating at the hips, following with the rib cage but your pelvis and everything else stays very still. Good. Feel those obliques firing up for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center and rolling up. Good job, guys. Go ahead and just take a nice little stretch here. Perfect. When you're ready, grabbing your ring, let's go ahead and lay back onto our mats. And from here, we're gonna grab our ring and we're gonna place it between our ankles now. And our hands come behind our head to support our head, neck, and shoulders. This is too much for you. You can do this series with your head laying down. So whichever level you're at and you feel comfortable. But from here, if you're staying with me, Lay the tabletop ring between your ankles. Make sure it's nice and secure. Hands behind your head. From here, we're going to go into bend and stretch with the ring. So you're going to extend out and back in. So keeping tension on that ring, we're going to fire up those inner thighs. And in. Good. And if you like, let's go ahead and add some pulses. So as you push out, pulse that ring. One, two, three. As you bring it in, pulse it. One, two, three. So a lot of muscles working here. Core, inner thighs, legs for three, two, and one. Now keep your legs straight and we're just going to do straight lower and lifts. Still holding on to that ring. Feel those inner thighs engaged. Let's go ahead and add those pulses. Pulsing down and up, pulse. It can be the smallest movement, whatever works. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Keep it out there now. Let's just drive that wheel. For five, four, whew, three, two, and one. Grab that ring and your knees and just take a quick, little breather. Sorry, I feel like I have like a hair on my lip. Perfect. From here, grabbing that ring, placing both feet onto the floor, we're gonna have our ring up overhead now. So have it in your hands, right above your head. Put a little tension in it, always. You're gonna bring your legs to tabletop. And if you're with me, you're gonna lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. And now we're gonna go into single leg stretch. So extending your right leg back to tabletop, left leg. Still maintaining, stabilizing in the core. Pelvis is not moving. We're just trying to stay as steady as possible, just extending one leg at a time. Hands overhead, still squeezing that ring for three, two, 
One. Now we're going to do the same motion. Let's just add a little twist. So getting into those obliques. Same motion with the legs. And we're just moving that upper body. So opposite elbow. I like to say opposite armpit. Sorry, and opposite ring. And knee. I say armpit so we don't collapse our chest. We keep our collarbone wide for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and place your ring on your knees and just take a quick little breather. Good. From here, we're going to go into double leg stretch. So, head, neck, and shoulders up, legs at tabletop, ring right above your knees, and you're going to have the ring in your hands, and you're going to extend everything out. Hands overhead, legs straight out and back. Out and in. Good, so still maintaining the core. Keep breathing. Let's go for three, two, one. Good, grab your knees, just take a quick little breather and what you're gonna do, grab your ring and you're gonna place it between your ankles and we're gonna do that same motion, double leg stretch, but now with a ring between our ankles. From here, we're gonna extend everything out, circle the arms around, and grab your knees, or shins. Out and circle. Good, this is too much, you can keep your head down. Whatever works for you, if you're feeling that strain in your neck and shoulders, let's go for four, stay strong, breathe through your nose, and out to that first lift. Three, two, and last one. Go ahead and grab that ring and shake it off. Good job. From here, let's go ahead. And now we're gonna go into some more ab series. So I'm gonna grab my ring and I'm gonna place it, lift my left leg up and I'm gonna place it right above my right knee. And I'm gonna grab my opposite elbow, so right elbow goes and holds it. So I'm kind of at a diagonal, and I'm gonna keep my right foot down, and I'm gonna place my left hand behind my head for some more support. From here, I'm just gonna pulse my left knee and my right elbow towards each other. So I'm getting that nice ab and oblique crunch. Can be a small pulse, it doesn't have to be anything big, just as long as you stay Engage. Breathe through your nose, out that first lift. For two, and one, we're gonna add on, make it a little bit more challenging. Now you're gonna extend that right leg and keep it hovered, and just do those pulses. For five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, last thing here, don't pulse your arms, you're just gonna bring that right knee in and out. In and out, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in and shake it off. Good. Go ahead and place that ring between your thighs. And we're just gonna do some ab crunches. So make sure, I like to bring that ring really up on to my, closer to my thighs rather than right at my knees. So get a better grip here and really find that control. So before we get started, go ahead, squeeze that ring, really elongate it, try to break it. I always say that in my classes. Hands behind your head, legs at tabletop, and now we're just gonna crunch up and down. Keeping that ring, squeezing with our thighs, we're just gonna bring our head, neck, and shoulders up, using our core to lift us and lower us. Legs don't move, we're just keeping it squeezed. So really engaging those inner thighs as we work the core. For five, four, three, two. Last one, stay up. Now pulsing those thighs in and out. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that ring and take a quick little breather. Good job. Now we're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna bring my right leg up. I'm gonna place the ring, the padded side, right above my knee, and I'm gonna grab my left elbow, 
and hold it between my knee and elbow. I'm gonna keep my left leg down on the floor, my right hand comes behind my head, and we're just gonna do that ab crunch variation again. So we're just gonna bring pulsing my knee and elbow in towards each other. Remember, it doesn't have to be a large pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Adding on, extend that left leg, pulse it in. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it and just bring that left leg in and up. Try to stay as steady as possible for five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that ring and shake it off. Good. Now let's go ahead and go into our bridge series. So grabbing that ring, we're gonna place it between our thighs again. We're gonna keep our feet flat onto the ground. Make sure it's as close to your butt as possible. You wanna keep your hands right by your side, fingers long. So before we get started, really squeeze that ring with your thighs and walk your feet closer together. From here, keeping your feet flat, hands down. Really push your heels into the floor and you're gonna lift up into bridge. Reaching your knees towards that wall in front of you and down. So we're not articulating the spine, they're just straight hip lifts up and down. Squeezing those glutes, squeezing that ring. Good. So you're just squeezing that ring as tight as possible with your thighs and you're squeezing those glutes as you lift up and down for five, four, three, two, last one. Stay up, pulse the hips up, up, up. Squeeze those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, now pulse those knees in towards each other. Feel those thighs working hard. Relax the collarbones, the chest. Make it soft for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll on down. Good. Take a quick little breath. We're gonna do that again. So when you're ready, Let's go ahead and squeeze that ring with our thighs, walking our feet a little bit closer together. Feet are flat, hands are flat, and we're now gonna push through those heels and lift those hips straight up. Squeezing that ring and down. So just straight up with those lips, hips and straight down. Squeeze those glutes. Five, four, three, Two, last one, stay up, pulse those hips up, up, push through those heels. Four, three, two, one, staying up, now pulsing those thighs together. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one here, guys, pushing your hip thighs as close together, so really pushing into that ring, trying to keep everything still. Now just go ahead and lift your right foot up, and left foot. So we're just really trying to stay engaged and have full control here. Not moving the hips as much for three, two, and one. Go ahead and roll down. Whew, I feel those. Good job. Go ahead and just hug your knees. Take a quick little breather. And we're gonna come on up. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. And now we're gonna go ahead and lay on our sides. So we're gonna use our ring. So the best way to get into it, I like to put both my feet inside the ring and position myself laying down. I pull up onto that ring. Good, I have my left hand under my head, I have my right hand right in front of me. I'm gonna take my top foot and I'm gonna place it right on top of my ring. From here, staying nice and steady, my bottom foot is inside the ring but on the bottom, so I'm holding it steady. So 
So now I'm gonna pulse. Turn out your foot up towards the ceiling a little. So a little turn out. And just pulse that top foot up and down. Really trying to pulse that ring. So feel that inner thigh fire up. So a lot of inner thighs today. Good. Just like so. Stay as steady as possible for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now keeping my top foot on top of that ring, holding it steady, I'm going to lift my bottom foot up and down. So my bottom foot's going to touch the top of the ring and down. So now I'm firing up my left inner thigh. Everything else is staying as still as possible. I'm just using my inner thigh to lift that leg up and back down. <clears throat> Good. Engage the core, navel to spine. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Last one. Keep it up. Now just little circles or just follow that ring circle. Up and down and around, I mean. <laughs> Good. For three, two, one. Let's switch direction. Try to keep that bottom foot hovered as we do the circle for four, three, two, and one. Good. Place that bottom foot down with that top foot now. We're just going to do lateral leg lift. So it taps that ring on top and it comes straight up. So have full control as you come down. Don't let it hit too hard. Good. So really working our hip adductors here, outer thigh, outer glutes. Stay nice and steady for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Last one here with the top leg. You're going to rainbow it. So toes touch in front and heel touches in back. So it's rainbowing that foot over that ring. Staying as still as possible. Try not to let your hips roll back when your leg comes back behind you. You want to keep them nice and squared towards me. For two. And last one. Good. Take your top foot and now place it under inside of the ring. So now you have your top foot um, inside of the ring pushing up. And your bottom foot is still inside but on the bottom. So both of your feet are inside the ring now. From here, you're going to pulse that top leg up. So it's going to be a small motion here, but you're really going to feel your hip adductors, your outer thigh, outer glute working. So stay connected and really pulsing up, up. Good. I feel it burn. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Keeping your leg there. Now pushing both of your feet out away from each other as you lift that ring and you lower. So really pull your feet away from each other. Like you want to break that ring. And you're just lowering and lifting. Keeping your legs as straight as possible for five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Keep it up and just pulse both feet out away from each other. Five, four, it's not a big motion. Three, two, and one. Both feet down and shake it off. Ooh, I feel that one. Great job. So we're going to transition to the other side, but before we do that, keeping that ring on your feet, you're going to roll onto your stomachs and your ring is still, um, your feet are still in between your ring. You're going to go ahead and you're going to make a pillow with your hands and you're going to rest your forehead on it with your ankles in between the ring and from here you're just going to bend your knees in so your legs are going to naturally kind of be pointed out towards the side so heels together toes apart type of position and you're just going to pulse your legs up so lifting your legs thighs off that mat you're pulsing your legs straight up to the ceiling and down. Squeeze.
squeezing your glutes and pulling your feet away from each other. So you're keeping tension on that ring at all times. Good, see how high you can lift those thighs and squeezing those glutes for five, four, three, two, and one. Place your legs down and just take a quick little breather. We're gonna do that again. Good. Whew. When you're ready, let's do that one more time. Bending your feet in towards the wall, um, in towards you. Heels together, toes apart, but your heels aren't really touching. You just want that position because your knees are gonna be out to the diagonal. Keep tension on that ring the entire time. So pull your feet away from each other. And now lifting your thighs up. And it's almost like you're imprinting your feet on the ceiling. Squeezing those glutes and down. Let's pulse up. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Let's go for three, two, and one. Last one, stay up. Now pulse your feet away from each other. Out, out, out for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lay it down. Good. Before we transition to the other side, let's just come on up and take a quick little child's pose. So sitting back in towards our heels, stretching out that back. Good, and come on up. So I'm gonna just switch sides so I don't have my back facing you. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and do the other leg. So now I'm gonna be laying on my right side and I'm going to put my right hand underneath my head and I'm going to place, oh, I do that whole ring thing. So I like to place both my feet inside the ring, put tension on it so it's able to get my legs as straight as I need them to be. And then I'll take my top foot and place it on top. Good. From here, my left hand's in front of me for balance and now I'm just going to keep my legs straight Put pressure onto the bottom of the ring so it doesn't move. And now I'm gonna pulse my top leg in and up, or up and down, whichever you prefer. And I'm pointing my toes kind of up at the diagonal so I can really target those inner thighs. Good. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. It's really what you're comfortable with and how strong your legs are. Just like this, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now my top foot stays rested. I'm putting pressure on that ring so it doesn't move. And now my bottom foot lifts up and hits the ring and down. So I'm using my inner thighs to lower and lift my leg just like so good let's go for five four three two last one keep it up and now you're gonna circle your leg around that ring or inside that ring Using your inner thigh, trying to stay everything as still as possible. Just moving that leg for three, two, and one. Let's circle it the other direction for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Placing that bottom foot down. Now we're going to laterally lift our top leg up and down up and down. So just slightly touching that ring and then back up. So I have full control of my leg. I'm kind of resisting it coming down against gravity. So I have full control and I'm really working my hip abductors. Good. For four, three, 
three, two, and one. Good. From here, now let's rainbow that leg up over and around. So remember, try to keep your hips square towards me. Resist them to roll back, especially when you bring that leg back like this. You don't want this. You want to keep them nice and squared. For four, three, two, and one. Good. Now I'm going to take my top leg and I'm going to feed it under the ring. So now my feet are both inside the ring. And then from here, I'm going to press my legs away from each other as I pulse my top leg up. Just straight up into that ring. It's a small movement. You're not going to see much going on, but you'll definitely feel it. Keeping our leg nice and strong. Really squeezing and finding that sweet spot spot you're feeling your hip abductors working hard good that's how we get really nice shaped thighs bye bye saddlebags <laughs> for three two and one good holding that ring keeping that resistance now you're going to lift up and down so pulling your feet away from each other keeping our legs nice and long we're just lifting up from the hips for three, two, last one. Keep it up. Now pulse your legs away. Out. Five, four, three, whew, two, and one. Both feet down and shake it off. Oh my, I feel these. Awesome. Let's go ahead and lay on our back. We can put our ring away now. And we're just going to take a quick little stretch. So we just worked the left leg. Let's put our left leg up over our right. Lifting our right foot and then just pulling back. So take a nice little four stretch, really stretching out those glutes that we just worked and thighs, everything. So it should feel really nice. Take your time. And then both feet down and let's switch sides. So right foot over left, pulling our left leg in towards us. and both feet down. Good. So we are done with our ring, and if you want to stay with me, I am going to do a quick arm and shoulder exercise. I call it my arm and shoulder burnout. I do it after most of my, my classes. So if you're staying with me, go ahead and you can move your mat out of the way. Grabbing your weights, for these, I really recommend using a light weight. I wouldn't do anything too heavy because I like to do more reps and slower and controlled movements. Good. So let's get started. So standing up, keep a slight bend in your knees. Don't lock your legs. Holding our weights, we're going to have um, our palms facing in. So we're going to do what we would do on the reformer, some arm work to start with. So from here, arms straight out in front of you, slight bend in those elbows, and we're just going to go into what we would call hug a tree. So challenging part here is keeping our arms up at shoulder level. You don't want to drop them. You want to keep your arms in peripheral vision the entire time. Don't come all the way back here. Have full control. You want to keep a slight bend in your elbow the entire time. And imagine that you have a beach ball in front of you. So you want to keep that round shape. Good. Just in and out. Perfect. Keep breathing. So I'm a big fan of small weights. When we do some arm work, you can really get nice sculpted toned arms with smaller weights. You don't need to lift these heavy weights. It's all about slower and controlled movements and just more reps until you start feeling that burn. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from here, palms face up towards the ceiling, and now we're gonna come in and forward. So we're gonna serve the platter, 
straight forward and back. Good, staying connected, always keeping a slight bend in our elbow, really lift up to shoulder level and back down. come up now we come out to our offering position and back down so forward out in and down so this is called offering we would do this with our straps if we were on the reformer which is another great arm exercise variation that I absolutely love I love anything arms mostly <laughs> so this is just as good using these weights. We're getting the resistance that we would get onto the reformer. So this is just as great to really tone and sculpt our arms and bring in strength, fixing our posture. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Last one, stay up. Now circling those arms out, those little melon sized circles, nothing too crazy. Your shoulders should be burning up by now, if you're with me. Mine definitely are. Good. Stay up at shoulder level for three, two, one. Let's switch direction for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. Relax the shoulders, shake them out for a quick minute. And from here, we're going to go right into some triceps. So you're going to bring your arms straight up and back behind you. Try to keep your arms narrow towards your ears and your elbows are straight up towards the ceiling. And from here, you're just bending up and down. So you're bending those elbows straight up and down. You're keeping them straight up towards the ceiling. Really find the tricep engagement. Just like this, keep breathing, control your core, nice strong core the entire time. Don't let it hang out, navel to spine, slight bend in those knees. Try to keep everything as still as possible for five, four, three, two, and one. Arms come up and around, awesome. Now, if you're using a light weight like me, these are only two and a half pounds, I'm gonna put them both into my right hand now. So we're gonna do some bicep curls with both weights in your hands. If you're using a heavier weight and one weight is fine for you, don't use double. But if you're using light, you can come with me. We're gonna keep our elbow, our elbow <laughs> narrow towards our side, almost like it's glued. And now we're just gonna bend at that elbow joint in and out. Everything is nice and steady, really firing up those biceps. Try not to use momentum like this. You're just using those biceps to curl in and out. Standing nice and tall. Take it slow. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the slower you go, the more toned and exhausted, you'll work that muscle. Good. Keep breathing. Let's go for three, two, one. Good. From here, we're going to come straight up, and now we're just going to go into a shoulder press. Try to keep your arm up at shoulder level. You just notice I don't drop it down here. I keep it here and up. Good, same thing. Keep breathing. Working those shoulders, working those deltoids. Let's go for three, two, and one. Coming right back down and going right back into those bicep curls for five, four, three, two, one, back up to shoulder press for five, four, three, two, one, bicep curl, five, four, three, two, one, shoulder press, five, four, three, two, one, two more sets, guys, for five, four, three, Two, one, five, four, 
three, two, one, last set here, five, let's see if we can go slow, four, three, two, and one, last set, shoulder press, five, four, three, two, last one, keep it up, bend the elbow, and we're just going to finish with some triceps. Remember, just bending at the elbow joint, elbow stays straight up to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's go ahead and do that exact same set on our left side. So I'm using both weights, and now I'm going to go ahead and just start with my bicep curls. So I'm keeping my arm very narrow towards my side. I'm just bending at the elbow joint. Nothing else is moving and I'm not using momentum. I'm not putting my body into it. Good. Let's see if we can slow it down. One, two, three. One, two, three. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right into those shoulder presses. So same thing, we're staying up at shoulder level. I have not dropped, I don't drop my arm past my shoulder. So we're really curling and burning out those shoulders, getting them nice and sculpted. You definitely have a, a stronger, weaker side. I'm right-handed, so obviously my left side is a little bit weaker, so I feel this much faster. For three, two, one, coming right back down. Let's go right into those bicep curls again. For five, four, three, two, one, shoulder, For five, four, three, two, one, bicep. For five, four, three, two, one, shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one, bicep. Almost done. A couple more sets. For five, Four, three, two, one, shoulder. For five, four, three, two, one. Last set here, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and last shoulder. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up, bend that elbow, and let's just burn it out with those last triceps. You got it. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Go ahead and put your weights down. And let's just take a quick stretch, okay? Let's stretch our arm up over our right arm up again over our chest, pulling back with our left arm. Almost get your heart rate up too. Good. And then same arm, we're going to bring it up over our head. Feel those triceps, nice little stretch. And then let's bring our left arm up and around over our right, grabbing with our right arm, sorry. And then up behind our head, feeling those nice triceps. Good, let's just stand tall, roll our arms up, reach tall to that sky, reaching right, inhale, exhale as you stretch left, get that lateral flexion. Good, let's roll down one vertebrae at a time. Just hang heavy, touch your toes, feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs. We did a lot of legs and thighs today. And then we're gonna slowly bend our knees, and slowly roll on up. Head is the last thing to come on up. And that's it. Thanks.
thank you so much guys. I hope you really enjoyed that um, mat Pilates workout using our ring and then burning out our arms with a light weight. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I do reformer Pilates and I do mat Pilates. Um, I'll be uploading videos as often as I can. If you have any requests or questions, feel free to message me. Um, I'm here for you guys. Uh, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.